When you are ready to glaze your pound cakes, the setup that I like to have is parchment underneath the icing rack and then whatever I'm glazing on top. That's going to um, eliminate me having um, a mess to clean up underneath. Uh, the consistency for my glaze, I want to have this flowing. Um, if you find that your glaze is a little too stiff, you can add a little bit extra um, milk or cream, whatever you used uh, for your original uh, recipe. Because this does have milk or cream in it, um, it's something that you want to be mindful of the shelf life um, and not keeping this out too long. So I wouldn't use this except in a situation where I'm going to glaze these and then I'm going to serve them within a few hours. Um, because that milk is never cooked, um, I don't want to make someone sick with that. Um, alternately, you could use water instead of milk or cream and then that glaze um, can actually sit out at room temperature um, and you don't have to worry about food safety. So when I'm ready to glaze I'm going to take my um, spoon and I'm going to lift it up and I'm actually going to be doing this just very fast back and forth motion and I want to be up above um, my pound cakes. That's going to give me a nice thin drizzle as opposed to having sort of blob um, my glaze on there. And I'm letting the glaze, um, I'm starting to spin it slightly off uh, of the side of the cake so that by the time I come to the cake, I have a really nice even um, stream of glaze. And those are my glazed pound cakes.